Так! А ну лук. Your younger self needs 190 proof booze to fuel his rocket drill. Oh, that could be a problem. I know, uh, we're both underage. Underage, nothing. It's 1931 and alcohol has been outlawed throughout the country. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you're about to graduate from high school? I'm kidding, yes. Doc. It was a joke. A joke? If I live to be a hundred, and I almost have, I'll never understand the teenage compunction to make a joke out of everything. <laughs> yeah, men. Uh, Hang in there, Doc. There's still one problem that's still stilt. How do we get rid of alcohol? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. 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 Let's en soup kitchen. Kanske vi kan få det hjälp där inne. Hmm. Altså, som dere forstår så husker jeg ikke særlig mye av det spillet. Nei, så det blir jo nesten som å spille det om igjen. Men vi spiller det for første gang. Oppdage ting på nytt. Alt det der. Hey, Q-Ball. Hva? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. <laughs> soup? Soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Special between alcohol. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. <laughs> Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. Yeah. All right, all right. Just try the soup. Well? Uh, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Mm-hmm. sick, you know, got to tell her. Okay. Um pipe. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Lilla jag var visa nå. Hmm. Där ser jag som mobilen är färdig där. Men så ser jag som sker. Oi! Nei, men... Hallo, du! Jøsse, mann! Litt av et system! Eller hva? Men, da ses vi i neste episode. Ha det bra! Takk for at du ga oss på, og prøv å følge med på neste episode. Ha det bra! Nei, men hei sånn du, og kommer tilbake til Mathias spiller Back to the Future, the game. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. See you some of this. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, uh, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, yeah. but which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, <laughs> Emmett. Kids goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. No, oh, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. What? <laughs> ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well... I imagined a modicum of subtlety would be used. Subtlety, right. Hmm. Obviously this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must <laughs> be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right. Hmm. That might explain the elevator. Yeah. They hard no credit there. We'll score that hooch somehow. 
I'll keep cogitating. Hmm. <sighs> There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Hmm. Emmett. Yes? I do know why I got you? Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come <laughs> up with. Yeah. I'll set the chin the air on by then, huh? Hmm. Okay. Stack what are those tables for? We keep a few extra tables around for our end of the month hobo soirees. Could you move them out of the way? Not a chance. I could throw out my back. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Yeah? Do I have a bowl of soup? We're a soup kitchen. What do you think? <laughs> Hmm. I can bring in an extra idea for the soup. Uh, what kind of soup is this? It, it tastes like... scroll a ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you oh, think yeah. I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Um... Some chili powder, maybe? Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy, too. But it's gotta be edible for the common folks. <laughs> Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. Mm. <laughs> you got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? <laughs> Eureka! Oh, no, her telegram. Ahem. Hmm. Ah, Miss Strickland. Come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor <laughs> of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Is mm -hmm. that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. Hmm, you two are hiding them. The first class will say, I will only go with Emmett. I will turn. Well, some of the first will forbid the camera to my so well. Emmett. Yes? Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, mm -hmm. good job. <laughs> we'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. <laughs> I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. <laughs> Pretty neat, Doc. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. 
Mm. Men vi har alt vi trenger her, så... Derfor så vi kan egentlig bare gå nå. Jeg har ikke lyst til å snakke mer med han Q-ball i ansett. <laughs> bare står det bak meg med notatplokka mer. Så jeg skulle notere hvordan det går. Sånn går for denne mannen her. Han går tre meter om gangen. <laughs> ok, da. Nå skylder jeg. Skylder jeg. Um, ok. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of mm -hmm. the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit from my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering mm -hmm. at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. Yes, we have. I haven't. can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there. Harry, <laughs> what in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No, mm -hmm. out of the question. Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. Mm. So get your dad a pair of earplugs. I can't tell my father to wear earplugs. Oh, no, no. I will not. Et lite øyeblikk, ser du. Hei sånn. Da er vi tilbake igjen. Sørg for det der. What's wrong with a little noise? It'll be like a party. My pop is not the partying type. Hmm. I'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes. I play my tambourine very softly. <laughs> you hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible. But I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no. Okay, Anna. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! Dr. McCoy? I can't get any folks at the X-Men. I told you, I can't get some reference. You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Vi får vente til jeg snakker for... Mm, Edna ferdig, Strickland, da. I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling <laughs> is mutual. Vi får det skit, han der, eller... I've got a bad feeling about this. Åh, oh, Star Wars referanse. Are you worried too much, Emmett? <laughs> well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Uh, mm -hmm. you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come yeah. on! <laughs> Definitely. Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Hmm. 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 Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. No, oh, hot. Extremely hot. The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows. 
Any questions? Das ja, tack för det. Tack för att du såg på och prövade mig på nästa episode. Ha det bra!